Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to try and finish up the birdhouses today. I just need to get some paint on them and get them ready to hang. This is Saturday, March 18th, and Monday is the first day of spring. So I need to get going on these birdhouses. I want to get them up before the first day of spring. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. We're still fighting off the last effects of the winter. This bucket of paint is just about gone. If I can get these birdhouses painted with it, I'll consider it a plus. If not, then it'll just get tossed out. The top of the can is rusted away for some reason. And I think it's going to take more mixing than what I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to get out the power tools. Well, the paint itself seems to be fine. We'll just have to see how it does. I'm going to paint the inside of the boxes too. See if I can't keep the birdhouses from dissolving on me. These buckets of paint are, uh, let's see, a good 15 to 20 years old. We painted our old house green and it was a big house. So when we got a deal on paint, uh, I believe Lowe's was having a sale. We bought extra, so I ended up with five gallons of paint left over when we moved. So I brought it with me, knowing full well that this house was painted blue. And thinking, well, we might want to change it to green. And we decided that we really liked the blue better. So then I had five gallons of paint with no real use for it. So we painted birdhouses with it. And I have enough paint to paint every one of these birdhouses at least 500 times. Since this paint job lasted about three years last time, I think I'm good for the next millennium and a half.
unless we, by some miracle of happenstance, find somebody that really needs to have four gallons of paint. side of it, but I don't think it hurts any. It was looking pretty rough and I had the roof off, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint the inside too. Latex paint, no lead in it, so it's not going to hurt the little birdies. Besides, they're living there rent free. What, what can they say? Can't complain. like this house because it's almost always got birds in it. I had paint on same kind of paint on it last time so we're gonna say birds probably like this. At least a dozen happy little sparrows came out of this. Now, I'm not an artist. I certainly don't pretend to be a fantastic painter. I can get paint on something so that it's covered with paint. And that has always been my goal, was to get the thing covered with paint so that when I was done with it, it had paint over the entire surface and sealed up. I'm more of a protectionist than an artist. I guess that's why I'm not in the business of touching up Rembrandt's. having these rubber gloves on because I can get right into my work. thing I like most about paint is that it covers a multitude of sins. Even though something is 
not necessarily the best construction. Having it all one color certainly does make it look better. Well, they're not exactly perfect, but I think they'll hold up. The idea is to keep the water out of them, make them stay together. Now, let's see if I can get this little nail driven in there without screwing everything up. little bit the nail didn't want to go. Strike it smartly and send it home. There. This project takes me back a long time. Straightening out nails to build a tree house. Done. Touch up some paint. Paint down in those nail holes, seal off the inside of the wood. Cover any hoof marks I put in there with the driving, the nails. And it's just a birdhouse. Doesn't have to be perfect. But when you're doing something, you want to do it right. When you're all done, you want to be able to stand back, take a look at it, and not feel bad. And last but not least, if you've done it right, you only have to do it once every three to five years. That's a good enough reason to do a good job. And that's two completed little birdhouses. Once the green birdhouses are dried out, I can work on the red and the blue and the purple one. I have to scrape the paint off the purple one. And just have to put new paint on the red and blue ones, which is made up from the red paint and the blue paint mixed together. Turns it purple.
At least that's the plan. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.